Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. A former Ripple employee who ended up working for BlackRock previously put together a model uh, with the help of someone else that called for an XRP price of potentially as high as $8.23. This would be none other than Robbie Michnik, a name who a uh, name that would be familiar to many of you out there listening, especially if you've been around in the XRP community for at least a few years. He put together this model with Susan Athey back in June of 2018. And then somebody in the community, uh, God bless their heart, uh, put together an XRP price calculator, which was loosely based on that, but didn't even include all of the fields that would be necessary to uh, use the actual model. And then all sorts of uh, community members and XRP YouTubers used that to come up with wild price predictions about where XRP was going, thousands of dollars, that type of crap. Uh, so I thought I'd just mention that. Maybe it'll kind of ring some bells now, but that XRP price calculator, uh, to my knowledge, is now offline. Thank God, because it didn't work. Uh, look, I appreciate the efforts, but it, it just, it was flawed. It didn't work. And it was misreported constantly as the Robbie Michnik Susie, Susan Athney uh, price calculator for XRP, which it was not. Susan Athey and Robbie Michnik, uh, they just, they, yeah, they created a model that is true. And then somebody looked at that model and then improperly created a price calculator. But anyway, Robbie Michnik, um, brilliant guy. He's also credited, by the way, with convincing BlackRock CEO Larry Fink to uh, come on board and actually launch a Bitcoin ETF. But he says now there's just no appetite for an XRP ETF with their client base or any other cryptocurrency for that matter. Uh, now that said, even if that's true for his client base and his assessment is correct, even if, I still firmly believe it's just a matter of time before you see an XRP ETF. Uh, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's a virtual certainty. And there's also this headline. The timing of this is just also interesting. Look at this from the Crypto Basic. XRP ETF expected as Ripple partner SBI enters U.S. ETF market. So plenty to discuss here. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so just as a real quick bit of table setting, which I think I mostly did in the intro of the video here, uh, here you can see a post from Robbie Michnik from June 13th, 2018, a fundamental valuation framework for crypto assets. And um, you can see that he cited right here, uh, XRP potentially going to size $8.23. That's what he modeled with Susan Athey. Uh, here's the actual uh, paper itself, not gonna run through. I've covered this in pretty great detail on more than one occasion over the last you know, half a decade. But uh, this this is the thing, and there's a picture of him back in 2018, and there's Susan Athey. They created this. It's a real model. Um, hasn't exactly come to the pass the way that they were hoping that it might. There were also a few curveballs, including an SEC lawsuit, so you know. <laughs> um, but he ended up moving on to BlackRock, and uh, we have this headline now, brand new. BlackRock foresees very little interest in crypto ETFs beyond Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin 2024. Asset manager BlackRock sees very little interest among clients in crypto beyond Bitcoin and Ethereum and doesn't foresee many crypto exchange traded funds outside of those two core digital assets, according to Robert Michnik, BlackRock's head of digital assets, speaking at the Bitcoin 2024 conference on July 25th in Nash Nashville, Tennessee. He said, quote, I would say that our client base today, their interest overwhelmingly is in Bitcoin first and then somewhat in ETH. And there's very little interest today beyond those two, end quote. And so that's what he said at a panel from uh, Strategy to Innovation, BlackRock's Bitcoin journey. And he said, quote, I don't think we're going to see a long list of crypto ETFs, end quote. Okay, well, so we've got Bitcoin. We've, we've got ETH. It's actually live now. You've probably heard about that by now. It happened the other day. Uh, there's applications for Solana uh, ETFs. I just I wouldn't be surprised if if perhaps even sooner than later you at least see an application. Then there's the question: Would the SEC even approve it? Well, it's certainly possible, but um, you know because look, a lot of people didn't think the E thing was going to happen, and I, I I still stand by my claim. Like, I do not believe for a moment that Gary Gensler wanted to approve uh, the ETH ETF. But you know, political tides they had changing. You know, as of May, there was like a complete 180. 
uh, at least in terms of paying lip service, and this was perhaps the first thing coming out of anybody, any bureaucrat put in place thanks to this administration that would be pro-crypto, you know, getting the ETL. I just don't believe for a second that Gary Gensler actually wanted to approve the thing. So, But in that case, who knows? Maybe something else actually does get approved that did change things a little bit. That kind of changes the calculus. But either way, it's just a matter of time. There will be an XRP ETF in over a span of years and decades. I genuinely believe that, uh, you know, as long as XRP is going to be long-term viable, that would be of material significance. There would be that much more exposure in a particular way, which requires the actual purchase and storage of XRP uh, in order for that to exist, that otherwise wouldn't exist. It just, it wouldn't be a thing. That materially matters so far as I'm concerned, because there are people that want exposure to the crypto asset class that don't want to deal with Coinbase or, you know, self-custody or any of that stuff. And for those people in particular, buying an ETF and then the firm that you buy the ETF from actually holds and owns that, uh, it would be in this case XRP if that should come to pass. And, and then you don't have to worry about it. There's, there is a market for like It's going to be. And so as the crypto asset class gets bigger and bigger and there's a bigger pie, whatever percentage that XRP has, it's still going to be a bigger dollar figure as time passes. So that would be of material significance over a longer period of time. I just don't buy into the narrative that uh, with any coin, Bitcoin, ETH, XRP, I don't buy into the narrative that over the short term, you're going to have some huge explosion in price. Like I, I just, I don't believe, if you look at the volumes with the Bitcoin ETF, uh, while impressive, it's like Bitcoin is going to go regardless. If you just look at the volumes, it, it is what it is. So perhaps overestimated the importance in the short term and underestimated in the long term, as is frequently the case with these things. But I still think that it's coming. And so take a look at this. And this is an interesting development. Could this be a sign that uh, somebody's making a play trying to get uh, getting something rolling here in U.S. markets? Well, here's the headline from the Crypto Basic. XRP ETF expected as Ripple partner SBI enters U.S. ETF market. SBI Holdings plans to enter the U.S. ETF market, sparking speculation of an XRP ETF due to its strong partnership with Ripple and digital asset focus. Ripple partner SBI Holdings is making headlines as it prepares to enter the ETF market. This move has led to speculation about a potential XRP ETF given SBI's strong partnership and association with Ripple, a company that holds the largest share of XRP. For instance, on July 1st, SBI Holdings began minting non-fungible tokens for the upcoming 2025 World Expo in Osaka, Japan. SBI leaders have also consistently endorsed XRP. Now, a local report reveals that SBI Holdings plans to establish an investment management company with Franklin Templeton, a major U.S. investment firm. This new venture will focus on digital assets, with SBI holding a 51% stake and Franklin Templeton... 49%. The new company from SBI Holdings and Franklin Templeton, expected to form by the end of the year, will focus on crypto assets, reports suggest. Notably, SBI will hold 51% of the company, while Franklin Templeton, uh, as they said here, will hold uh, 49%. And so Franklin Templeton, uh, they're already in the Bitcoin ETF game here. And so it's just interesting knowing, I, I think it's a fair speculation to be honest. Like, I, they're already in the ETF game, SBI obviously, well, partnered up with Ripple, quite literally, big fans of XRP. It's not the craziest thing. <laughs> it sure as hell isn't. I, I think that there are probably going to be multiple players uh, looking to launch XRP ETFs in the not-too-distant future, because why wouldn't they? And then I think you're also going to see baskets of ETFs, where you buy, a, you buy a particular ETF and you get exposure uh, to multiple, probably large-cap coins to start anyway. It could be you could have a basket of Bitcoin, ETH, and XRP, for example. That's not crazy. Like, why wouldn't there? Why wouldn't there be baskets like that? Anyway, peace continues. In June, Ripple president Monica Long had argued that launching an XRP spot ETF in the U.S. market makes sense. She highlighted that XRP, consistently among the, uh, among the top 10 cryptocurrencies, meets key criteria for such an investment product. However, Nate Garachi, president of the ETF store, suggested that the market is not ready for an XRP spot ETF. He noted that an XRP futures ETF must precede a spot ETF, emphasizing the need for a regulated trading industry, uh, history. So whatever the order, I'm, I'm just saying, it's. I, I still think it comes. Whatever the timeline is, uh, I, I think it's a virtual inevitability. I mean, unless XRP ceases to be a thing, it's going to happen. Let enough time pass, and that prediction I'll make 
that will come. I'm not going to put a timestamp. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not going to put a timestamp on it. But if you let enough time pass, I will be right. As unless XRP dies, but I don't believe for a moment that's happening because if you look at all the metrics that matter, XRP adoption is increasing. This, this is the most exciting time that there has ever been in my time in crypto, at least, to be an XRP holder. So I think it's coming. And um, I don't want to read this whole article, but uh, there's further agreement here. Here's an article from the Daily Hoddle. We've entered the ETF era of crypto. Bitwise CEO Matt Hoogan says ETFs on multiple digital assets coming. See, I, I do agree with that, broadly speaking. The chief investment officer of digital asset management titan Bitwise is expecting to see more crypto-based exchange-traded funds in the market. In an interview on Bloomberg Television, Matt Hoogan shares his optimism for the ETF era of crypto following the launch of the Bitwise Ethereum ETF. He says the financial product saw impressive numbers and exceeded expectations on its first trading day. Quote, we had about half a billion dollars traded in these new ETFs. By comparison, the average ETF trades about a million on its launch day. So it's shaping up to be the second most successful ETF launch of all time after, of course, the Bitcoin ETFs, end quote. So, and then uh, it says, quote, um, he's talking about Ethereum ETF. He says they, the, 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 uh, they lower costs, they raise protections, and investors want them, end quote, specifically of uh, crypto ETFs. So, and demand's only going to increase as time passes. So, again, let enough time pass, it's going to happen here. But it was just kind of interesting to see uh, that uh, somebody wrote a model <laughs> with Susan Athey, you know, Rob, Robbie Michnick, um, $8.23 XRP perhaps, said that back in 2018. He's like, yeah, there's really not interest in that XRP ETF. And look, if, if that's if he's not hearing it from his clients, and who that's so subjective anyway. Maybe what he's saying isn't enough interest for BlackRock. Maybe it is for other firms. Maybe they're maybe they're looking to get in early and uh, kind of grow something organically, even if there's not a crazy amount of or expect or uh, interest rather. Even if that were true. Now there's certainly lots of interest for XRP in the world of crypto. But having ETFs out there that uh, you know represent crypto products, this is a newer thing, so it's it's got to grow anyway. But again, the best is yet ahead. I'm certainly not worried about it. I just found this all fascinating, so I wanted to share this with you. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say. Right? That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.